This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities. All contents provided by this channel is meant for educational purpose only. And now we are going to see how we can connect the uploaded image with the user details. So for that you can see we have the database, then we have a migration and the first one is for user table. I want to add another column to this table and that column is called image or avatar whatever you want to call it. So it should be string, it should be avatar and that's done. But we already have the table. How we can delete everything and then rerun. So in the beginning of this series I told you that we have a PHP artisan migrate. If we run this command it says nothing to migrate because every table is there. Now we need to delete every table and rerun. So yes we can do manually but we have PHP artisan and then we search for migrate and we have a migrate fresh or migrate refresh yeah fresh and refresh so it drop table and rerun migration it reset and rerun so i generally have refresh so php artisan migrate refresh let's say refresh and now it says migration not found which one ah, let's see so now inside users table we have another column called avatar and now we need to upload the details of uh, image uploaded image inside this avatar so first thing i want to do is i want to move all these things in into a controller which is user controller we already have created let's create a function so let's create function at the top and i call it upload avatar and then we can have a request and that request should be this one eliminate http then request and then copy these two things paste it here and now we can simply say i have a user controller at and at the rate is upload avatar that's very easy okay now we need to update the user table so because we have run the migration once again the existing user is not there so we can simply refresh it will log out because we don't have any user register any user secret one two three secret one two three and hit register now it says avatar field is not having any default value yeah we have created another field but on the mass assignment you know the mass assignment if not just go and refresh the previous tutorials and the mass assignment we don't have the field for avatar and even if we provide it we don't have the value for avatar so what we can do on our user table we can make this avatar as nullable so it can be nullable so once again we need to say refresh so that every table is dropped or you can use fresh so it will drop all the table and then recreate everything this means once again we lost the user so once again we need to continue and now we have the user cool and this time we have this but avatar field is null okay so how we can grab the user hmm. we can say user then find with the id of one because we know the id is one here and then i can say update and updating only avatar and avatar name is something which we will do okay so now after that it is uploaded that's cool so now what we can do we can simply say choose a file choose Vue.js upload it and it says uploaded and if I go here on the avatar field we can see we have this random text but we don't want random we want the uploaded image name okay so firstly I will check if we have the you uh, we have the image or not so has file called 
image if we have the file called image let's diadem request and now we want the original name how we can get the original name so if i do this like request image and we have all these data but still we cannot get the original name yes it is given here but if we try this it will not give us the original name so we do this refresh this page it says undefined property okay so how we can go inside the depth of laravel whenever you get this kind of thing every time it will show you which file or which class is diademed so here we have a eliminate http upload file class okay so search for upload is it upload or uploaded uploaded so uploaded file and now we have a three uploaded file.php so we want the eliminate http because it is given here eliminate http uploaded file okay so we have this file in this file we can search for original name original name and you can see we have a method called get client original name this is very nice because this is we want so this is a function and now if i go refresh this you can see we have the original name cool so you have seen that how easy to go deeper inside laravel and grab the real functionality without knowing much about laravel it's very easy whatever laravel show you you just get deeper and somewhere you get the what you want <laughs> okay so we have the name and this name comes here when we upload it like here because if we go here on this storage directory storage app public images we have some hashed name of the image we don't want hashed name we want the original name okay so if we go once again if we upload file you can see we can define second parameter as the name and third parameter as the disk then we need to say store as now instead of store i can say store as images inside the images directory and then we will say file name file name is coming from here so file name and i can put this inside if statement and the disk is public okay when we get that then we update the avatar with the file name file name comes here and when everything is done instead of returning the text we will say return redirect and i will say back super easy so now if i go here go back and then i can choose a file i can choose this time python and then upload it and i will redirect it back to the same page and now with a, without any problem you can see we have avatar which is python.png congratulation you have connected the uploaded file with the user also inside our storage we can see we have a python.png file or image uploaded that's cool we have done successfully connection of user and the images now how we can show image here so after this sarthak shrivastava we have given i want a simple image so for that i need to go to app.blade.php is it app.blade.php hmm let's see we have yeah we have a name so if i say email and refresh yeah so this is the same file okay after that i want image tag and image tag source is nothing and alt is avatar so that if i go refresh this we have this avatar and now i can provide and to grab the user detail we always say auth user so auth user and then grab me the avatar hmm so let's see refresh this page 
still we are not getting let's try to open image in a new tab it says localhost 8000 slash python dot png why is that because we have this inside the storage directory so this is the next big task for us to display the image with the proper path using the storage directory and once again if we go on the user controller we are hard coding the the user detail so every time it update for the user one in the next episode we need to see how we can update the logged in user